up traders and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I will be talking about what I read in October. Now I know today's Halloween, <laughs> hopefully when I publish this um, or post it, but um, you know the book that I was reading I decided to DNF and right now it's October 30th so pretty sure I will not get through a one single book in two days <laughs> or a day and a half, <laughs> especially when I work uh, full time and I am going to be working uh, on Halloween. So <laughs> first I want to talk about the elephant in the closet, which is um, my hair. Uh, it's not greasy. It is wet because I just took a shower, but uh, just wanted to get that out of the way just in case there was people who were like, why is your hair like looking like dreadlocks or something? Um, yeah, it's just wet. I just got it out of the shower. Anyways, <laughs> so this month in October, um, I actually participated in the Trick or Treat Readathon, which is a month long readathon that's like a bingo, bingo board style readathon that it all takes place on Discord. <laughs> um, they have an Instagram, Trick or Treat Readathon on Instagram. Um, yeah, it was really fun. It like, you know, you get sorted into teams. There's a bunch of reading sprints going on. Um, and yeah, it's all over the place, a little bit overwhelming, but it was, it was extremely fun. And um, I'm feeling like I might participate in it again. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it was it was really fun and uh, I got a lot of reading done. Before we get into my readings uh, and ratings, <laughs> I will talk about my DNFs. So the first book I DNFed is Missing by Lindsay Harrison. This book is a memoir about um, a girl, uh, Lindsay Harrison. Um, her mom went missing and it just is her memoir about that experience. I read it to page 50 and um, decided to not continue on in it just because it wasn't really grabbing my attention very much. I mean, I'm not like diminishing Lindsay's experience. <laughs> I just personally couldn't really get through this book in a way. Like, I don't want to sound mean because it is a memoir, but um, yeah, <laughs> anyways, uh, if this sounds interesting to you, you can feel free to pick it up. But then the next book that I am DNF, I DNF'd is, uh, let's see, is My Best Friend's Exorcism by Grady Hendrix. <laughs> I know what are you, you guys are thinking, um, Nicole, why are you DNFing this? Um, it's a very popular book. I thought I was going to enjoy this, um, so that's why I got it at Barnes & Noble full price, you know, fully thinking that I would love it, but um, wasn't really my favorite. <laughs> uh, I DNF'd it on, again, like page like 60. Um, I found myself like not really looking forward to reading this, uh, needing, like feeling like I was obligated to read it just because it was a popular book and I picked it up at Barnes & Noble, which normally I do not do. Um, I buy a lot of my books secondhand, <laughs> so yeah. Um, it's just, I found it very boring and not really enjoyable to read and I found myself like procrastinating reading it. which is not good when you're an avid reader like me and you want to read books. Um, yeah, so I just decided to DNF. Right, so now for the books, moving on to the books that I did read this month. Um, we'll start off with my lowest rating bo rated book, which is a three star. Or actually, no, I messed that up. It's actually a two star. <laughs> um, the, almost three, but um, yeah, that's The X-Hex by Erin Sterling. Maybe like a 2.3, 2.5. Somewhere around there, but I'm just, I'm rating it a 2. <laughs> um, 
what it's about it's about two witches who break up um and uh the girl is super devastated so she puts like a play curse on um the guy who broke up with her and uh years later she figured finds out that the curse act she actually did put a curse on him and she's surprised and so he comes to town and he like because he's cursed um his magic backfires and kind of like ruins all the magic in the town and um they have to come together to break the curse and the and uh, save the town um two out of five stars <laughs> uh what i liked about this book was maybe the vibes kind of it was kind of like a halloweeny themed book i i love halloween so <laughs> it's also why i read this um i hated mainly the characters they were really like not really three-dimensional or fleshed out really they just kind of seemed meh to me um i thought the book was boring i actually did doze off a couple of times reading this um probably about three or four times i dozed off um yeah really it was it was boring um it's not what i expected and um i'm kind of I hated that about this because I thought I was going to love this book like at least a four stars out of five but not a two stars uh, <laughs> yeah just I'm a little disappointed that I didn't like this as much all right moving on to my four star books um, and I have quite a lot uh, so the first four star book that we'll talk about is Batgirl um, Volume 1, Burnside, or Batgirl of Burnside. This is a comic book, so it was pretty short. Um, rated it 4 out of 5 stars. It's a, a summary. Is It's just a Batgirl adventure. Um, Batgirl moves in with uh, some friends, and um, this evil villain is posing as her, and um, she has to take him down. <laughs> This is my first, like, Batgirl saga thing that I've ever read. I owned it when I was 15, and it's been on my bookshelf ever since. Um, I did read it when I was 15, too. Um, I liked the art. I thought it was very inter- It was, like, an interesting modernization of Batgirl, and um, I thought it was a good story. <laughs> uh, I hated... Um, what I hated about this book was I kind of was wanting more of an origin story than there was. Um, like, how does Batman play come into it? Like, he's only mentioned, like, once or twice in the book, and yeah, uh, you don't really see him. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I've always been interested in Batgirl, like, the as a character, and I never really... I don't know what her origin story is and now that I'm saying that I feel kind of dumb because we have Google and I could just Google it but I was really expecting Batgirl uh, this book to have more of an origin story so yeah <laughs> next book I read is Archie volume 3 I love the Archie comics <laughs> um this is um just like a another volume of um like a modernization retelling of archie not the riverdale version um i grew up reading archie comics when i was little um and uh yeah i was super excited to watch riverdale when it came out and um it much much disappointment in that <laughs> um anyways this book is about, if you want to know, um, Veronica moves and meets Cheryl Blossom, and a feud begins between them. <laughs> um, I like, what I liked about that, this is, a, it was a quick read, and it was very interesting. There's nothing I really hated about this book. Um, yeah, it was just interesting. Alright, the next book that I read is Such Sharp Teeth by 
Rachel Harrison. Again, I rated this four out of five stars. All the rest of the books are four out of five stars. Um, this book, uh, what it's about is, it's a hardcover, so the jacket's coming off. It's about a girl who gets bit by a werewolf and she learns to live with being a werewolf. And um, it's kind of a rom-com too, cause it's like, there's a love interest and he's like, I love you, and he's like, oh shit, you're a werewolf. <laughs> um, anyways, <laughs> I liked the writing. It was very fast-paced. Um, it caught my, kept my attention, and it was very funny, too. <laughs> um, and I liked how it's a werewolf story, because I feel like you don't really get much of, like, the werewolf lore in literature, especially in, like, these modern times. <laughs> um, I feel like after post or yeah, post Twilight, it's all about the vampires, which, you know, if you watch my vampire vlogs, I'm all about. But uh, yeah, it just was interesting. Um, and I loved that it wasn't a series too, <laughs> um, hopefully. But yeah. And then um, I liked the characters and the romance in this and just overall the vibes. <laughs> I really, really liked it. Uh, the one thing I didn't like um, I wrote down is the price. I got this at Barnes and Nobles again in October. If you guys see my, I'm going to post it November 1st or so, um, my uh, vlogtober vlog. <laughs> I got this at Barnes Noble with my other books, and this one was a whopping $27, um, just because it's a hardback, <laughs> um, hardcover, so yeah, but I really liked it. Alright, the next book that I read is The Wicked Deep by Shia Earnshaw. Shia Earnshaw. Um, again, four out of five stars. Uh, <laughs> what it's about is it's about a town that's uh, there's a curse where three sisters who were wrongly accused of witchcraft um, come back uh, to kill or um, they come back to kill uh, boys um, and like take revenge on the town for like wrongly accusing them of witchcraft. <laughs> And they like come back and they like possess girls like bo bodies. So yeah. Um, and the main character in this book, she is a girl and she's also trying to save um, this new boy who comes into town. And she's like, oh shoot, you're a guy. You're gonna get killed. You know, you might get killed. Um, I'm gonna save you. <laughs> I liked the, it had a very hocus pocusy vibe. Like I loved that about this. Um, it was very spooky, even though it's set in the summertime. <laughs> and I really liked the plot twist. I will not discuss the plot twist, but if you read this book, uh, you know the plot the plot twist. <laughs> and I loved the writing too. Um, there's nothing really much I hated about this book. So yeah, right. the next book that I read is These Witches Don't Burn. Um, this whole month of October, there's a theme, horror books <laughs> and paranormal books. Um, this is by Isabel Sterling. Uh, let's see. What this book is about is it's about these witches who are like ex-lovers and, um, they find out, uh, Huh? Okay. <laughs> I can't read my writing. Um, but these, uh, it's just about these two witches and they are like exes and um, there's like this thing going around town um, who is targeting witches in their coven and um, they are like, who is it? They think it's a blood witch. Um, and yeah, they are just trying to solve the mystery together while also um, not like 
figuring out if they want to get back together or not. And then there's also a new girl who, in town who's like has a huge crush on the main character. And yeah, uh, I liked the story. I, I thought it was good and cute and I liked the vibes in it. Uh, what I hated was the ex, um, in this book she's painted as the villain, like almost like the villain, and um, I don't know, it just wasn't really a vibe in that sense. Like if they were, I feel like there shouldn't be like a such big focus on the ex part. Um, but yeah, that's just my personal opinion. <laughs> But yeah, it, it was good though. <laughs> the next book I read is The Troop by Nick Cutter. Uh, this book, um, I can attest that it is definitely body horror. If you ever discovered a booktube before, which you almost have, probably have because you're watching this, um, you should know The Troop because it's pretty popular here. <laughs> Um, and it is definitely body horror. Uh, this book is about this these Boy Scouts who get involved with, oh, um, get invaded. Uh, what I do is I write stuff on sticky notes, so can't read my writing. <laughs> um, Boy Scouts who get invaded by a de deadly virus that kills. And it's like a survival body horror story. Um, I liked the writing and um, it definitely, like this writing and this book definitely reminded me of my favorite uh, author by far ever, uh, Michael Crichton. <laughs> and I thought this book was like really, really good. Um, I hated how gross it was. Um, some trigger warnings if you want to read this book for uh, anything to do with the veins. <laughs> I honestly like, ugh, ugh, I can't deal with like veins or anything, especially in the wrists. And also trigger warning for self-harm too. Um, there's a whole chapter on that and I wanted to throw up. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it was, it was a good book. Uh, the next and last book I read this month, I know, I read a lot, is Misery by Stephen King. Um, this, again, four out of five stars. Um, this book is about a writer who basically gets kidnapped and tortured by his number one fan. Um, and uh, he, like is kind of paralyzed in the legs and um, she helps him but also tortures him and like manipulates him and yeah it's crazy. Uh, I liked the story, it was really good and like I loved like the mentality of the main character. Um, it almost seemed like um, he was like just, it was like almost like Stockholm Syndrome almost. <laughs> Not quite, but like, kind of like that. I just loved it. Um, I hated that it kind of, some parts kind of like droned on, um, which I do not like. But I don't know. That's, in my opinion, parts droning on. That's Stephen King for you. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Anyways, that is all the books that I read this month. Uh, comment down below what you guys read. Love to know. <laughs> Um, and if you guys participated in the trick or treat a thon, read a thon, I would love to know too. <laughs> uh, but other than that, I hope you guys have a good day and uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hey guys. So if you do want to um, follow me on other social medias, I am on Instagram and Goodreads. I post frequently on Instagram. So if you guys want the little updates and everything, uh, be sure to follow my Instagram and my Goodreads.